Hi, I'm Pastor Tommy McMurtry from the Liberty Baptist Church in Rock Falls, Illinois. I'd just like to take a few minutes and show you from the Bible how you can know for sure you're going to heaven when you die. This is the most important thing that anyone can know, and the Bible tells us how we can know for sure that we have eternal life. Many people today, they're wondering or they just hope they're going to heaven. I want you today to know for sure that you're on your way to heaven too. Many people, when I tell them I know I'm going to heaven, they act like you must really think you're good to say that you know 100% for sure that you're going to heaven. But the truth is there's only one way that we could be sure that we're saved, and that is if our salvation is not based on our works. If our salvation is based on something that's already been done. And the truth is that's exactly what the Bible teaches. The Bible makes it very clear that salvation is not about our works, but by the work of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. What does that mean? Does that mean I just have to believe Jesus existed? I just have to believe some of the stories in the Bible? I have to believe in the death, burial, and resurrection? What does that mean for me to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ? Well, in order to understand that, the first thing we need to do is see why we need to be saved. Bible tells us in Romans 3.23, it says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All of us have transgressed God's holy law, and therefore we are sinners. And the Bible says in Romans 6.23, For the wages of sin is death. We have earned death because we are sinners. And when the Bible talks about death, it's not just referring to us when we go to the grave. But there's a second death that the Bible talks about. We see that in Revelation chapter 21, verse 8. It says, But the fearful and unbelieving and abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So you see some really bad sins mentioned in there, but notice it includes things like liars in there. And you know what? All of us have told a lie at some point. Why? Because we've all sinned. And we all come short of the glory of God. But thankfully, the Bible says, but God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Why did he do that? Jesus Christ died on the cross as payment for our sins. That way, Romans 6.23, it wouldn't have to end with for the wages of sin is death. But you could add on there, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So we see that we've earned death, but we also see that there is a free gift of eternal life. Uh, a gift, it doesn't cost the receiver anything. If you have to pay for the gift, or if you have to work for the gift in any way, it's not a gift. And the Bible says that salvation, it is a truly free gift. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. And it just happens to be a gift that God offers freely to the whole world. So it's not being offered to you because there's something good about you. Truth is, we're sinful. But yet God still loves us. He sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for us. Jesus paid the penalty of our sins. And he has freely offered us eternal life so we will never have to experience that second death. And so we see very clearly in the Bible, where we're sinners, Jesus, there's a penalty for our sin, but we see that Jesus Christ paid that penalty for our sins when he died on the cross. He died, he was buried, and he rose again from the dead three days later. And the Bible says in Romans 10, 13, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So what does that mean? Why am I calling on him for salvation? Because I recognize that I'm a sinner. I recognize that I deserve hell that was made for the devil and his angels. I deserve that, but I don't want that. I'm worthy of it, but I don't want it. I want the free gift. And Jesus said, all I have to do to receive that gift is accept it simply by faith. And the truth is, if we don't accept it by faith, we don't get it. Many people today are trying to buy it with their good works and with their religion, but salvation has already been purchased through the blood of Jesus Christ 
and he wants to give it to us freely, but he'll only give it to those who believe. He'll only give it to those who will put their faith in the work of Jesus Christ and in his death, burial, and resurrection. There are many people today who they believe Jesus died on the cross. They even believe he was buried and rose again from the dead. But you know what? They have never put their faith and trust for their salvation only in the work of Jesus Christ. They believe those stories, but they also think, I've got to do some good thing too. That's not how it works. Salvation comes by faith and the work of Jesus Christ, and that's it. Plus nothing, minus nothing. And thank God for that. That's easy. And the Bible tells us that if we will just believe that, we'll call. He will give us that salvation. And the exciting thing about our salvation is that it's eternal. He said, I give unto them eternal life. You cannot lose your salvation. Once you have received the gift of eternal life, you can never lose it. Jesus said, I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish. A person who has received the gift of eternal life, they cannot lose it. You say, well, what if they go and they do some really bad thing? Well, here's the thing. You didn't do any good things to receive it and there's no bad things you can do to lose it. Your salvation, it's not based on what you do. It's based on what Christ already did. And Jesus said that those who receive eternal life, they will never perish. Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. I give unto them eternal life. Well, Jesus also mentioned a group of people that are gonna stand before him one day. They're gonna say, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? In thy name cast out devils and in thy name done many wonderful works. They're bringing up their works. And you know what Jesus says to them? Depart from me, I never knew you. So the truth is, a person who receives the gift of eternal life, they got it simply by faith in Jesus Christ. A person who's trying to get to heaven by good works, the Bible says Jesus never knew them. You know why? Because even on our best day, our works still don't measure up to what God is. And therefore, we are completely dependent on the Savior. And that Savior was Jesus Christ. He paid for our sins, and all we have to do is ask him and he'll give us that salvation and we can never lose it. The Bible says that thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So if you want to receive the gift of eternal life, you can do it simply by praying right now and asking Jesus for that gift. And you can say a prayer just like this to say, Dear Lord Jesus, I know I'm a sinner and I deserve to pay the penalty for my own sin, but I don't want to go to hell when I die. I want to be with you in heaven. I believe you died on the cross and I believe you rose again from the dead. Please forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart. I accept your gift of salvation. I believe in you and trust in you alone to take me to heaven when I die. Thank you, God, for your love and your free gift. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, those aren't magic words, but if you said that and you meant that in your heart, according to the word of God, you are saved. You have received the gift of eternal life and you will never perish. And now you can say, I know 100% I'm going to heaven. Because my salvation, it's not based on what I do. It's based on what Jesus did. And that's the only way we can know that we're saved is if salvation is through the finished work of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for listening. I hope this was a help to you.